let's see what temperature we're at here. Using nothing but the sun, Ken Pusey to 11 is boiling water. The sunlight comes here, hits this reflector, and the reflector focuses the light onto this vacuum tube. The vacuum tube insulates well enough to collect the solar heat and hold on to it even on a chilly day. It doesn't matter that it's 40 degrees outside here. We've got 212 degree water inside there. Even when you've just boiled water, you can still touch the tube. On the outside, I wouldn't touch it on the inside. Ken developed the boiler on his own, and after a few designs, came up with this model, which, he says, melted snow and boiled water in zero degree weather. If it works that well in Vermont, he says, you should see what it can do in Kenya. Their sun's a little bit stronger than ours. They'll boil water in 40 minutes in Kenya. On a mission trip, Ken saw the effects of unsafe drinking water and the parasites it can infect people with. Just imagine yourself that you have something inside you eating you or eating your eight-year-old daughter, and it's totally preventable. All these people need is access to safe drinking water. He says 133 million people suffer from high intensity worm infections. He says unsafe drinking water kills more people in Kenya than anything else. 1.3% of the population there every year, mostly children. Boiling water is a solution, but he says not as easy as you might think. If they boil their water, it's safe to drink, but it's an economic issue. I can't afford the extra fuel to boil my water, and so they they drink the water and kind of roll the dice. And 98.7% of the time, it doesn't kill you. So he looked up and saw a simple solution it's shining down on him, giving people a free fuel source to sanitize water and even cook with. But Ken didn't stop there. He moved his manufacturing equipment to boiling. Kisumu, Kenya, to help in another way, providing jobs for aged out orphans. So when you reach a certain age, you're pushed out of the orphanage, and it's very hard without the support of family to find a job in an area where only 40% of the people are employed. He says putting them to work, building solar water boilers, gives them a livelihood and helps chip away at the global problem of safe drinking water. This is a longer term solution and I think it's also a very economical solution to the problem.